welcome to the greenhouse. Um, the greenhouse is a very important uh, step in our food growing um, because so much of our food starts just as a seed and then it needs time in a warm and very bright place to do its growing before it goes out to the field. So we can take a look at these beautiful plants. We have cabbage here. And this is dill. And we've got kale. Lots of kale. And we've got um, broccoli and cauliflower. And the red lettuce that um, that you will eat actually started out as a seed and had to grow in a greenhouse. And then it got planted in the field. So, um, so this is where food begins. Begins as a seed, comes to the greenhouse, and then goes out to the field. So as we make our way out to the orchard, uh, we can just take in some beautiful pastures and fields along the way. Um, the pasture is used for many, many different kinds of events. And this field has um, some pick your own tomatoes and um, peppers um, for folks that come every week to pick up vegetables. And our blueberries are under the net and we just finished blueberry season. Um, and so uh, this is just one, one corner of the 150 acre farm. And so we're gonna make our way out to the orchard. We're about to cross over one of two creeks that's on the farm. And it's just lovely to have water moving on the farm. The timbers uh, on the bridge were actually about to replace, but they were actually made from trees that came from the farm. So, um, so we're just gonna continue on to the orchard. One out of every four bites of food that we eat is thanks to the bees or other pollinators. And so we do have beehives here at the farm and a wonderful uh, local couple are the beekeepers. And so we will soon be seeing one of the blessings from the busy work of the bee um, as we head to the squash field. finally got into the orchard where we grow blackberries and apples, raspberries, and lots of vegetables. And you'll see here that uh, we do sustainable farming, free of pesticides, people and pollinator friendly. So Snipes Farm and Education Center is really committed to earth friendly farming. And right over here, you can see how busy the bees were when um, each one of these berries was actually a pale purple flower about maybe five or six weeks ago. And once they got pollinated, once the bee went inside each one of those flowers, uh, it got turned into a berry, little by little. The berry grows out of the flower. So it's still kind of the early part of the season yet. We have many, many more to ripen. And right across here, we'll go to the squash field. So these amazing plants are where our zucchini and our yellow squash come from. And again, like the blackberry, it starts out as a big orange flower and the bee has to go inside the flower and then uh, the, the fruit or the, the squash grows right out of the back of that flower. And so it's the energy from the sun that goes through the leaves that helps it to grow. And it's the minerals and vitamins that come through the water, through the roots, um, 
from the soil and of course the hard work of the farmers so between the bees and the sun and the soil and the farmers we have food to eat and it just rained so these plants are so happy today because we were in a drought and we got some rain last night and we got a beautiful rain this morning and so now the farmers don't have to worry for a while and these plants are just going to grow more beautiful squash.